Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Another day, another fantastic win for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And we are through to the final four, the semi finals of the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations with a 1 0 victory over the Black Antelopes of Angola. What a game and what a win. This team continues to impress continues to put in good performances and of course continues to win games while not conceding any goal we have only considered one goal in this tournament on the opening day for us what's a performance uh, as always i'll run you through my thoughts on the game i'll talk about each player and i'll bring a guest on and some of you guys on as well to share your thoughts on the game um so it was an unchanged starting 11 um coach was Pesero went to the same starting 11 um from the last game against cameroon of course, Stanley Oabali um, recovered from his injury and thank God he recovered because he was immense today. In goal, Stanley Oabali made two saves, but he was very commanding, very confident in his box as he's been throughout this tournament. In my opinion, Oabali is probably the best goalkeeper of the tournament so far and he's on track to, to win the award if he continues like this. Definitely going to win the Golden Boots, rather than the Golden Glove, because he's been so fantastic keeping clean sheets throughout this tournament um he came out to claim two balls that were potentially dangerous and you know just the the command that he showed in the box you can always feel confident when you have standing one Bali behind you thank god he's in our team and thank god he's been playing well like this for us because without him it would be hard to say that we would have got this far even his passing today he completed 14 out of 18 attempted passes his passing is good he's composed even when under pressure and when he decides to go long when he plays those long balls when he plays those long balls you know they still somehow find um the target and it's just been very very amazing from stanley wabali um quick off his line commanding presence in goal you know he made a fantastic save early in the game if angola had scored that early chance it could have been a long day for the super eagles who knows but stanley wabali whenever he's called upon he always answers and you know thank you to stanley um long may his quality performances like this continue yes and his long throws as well you know he's he's just very smart he wins the ball he sees opportunity for counter attack he throws it out he doesn't waste time even the ones that don't amount to much you can just see the positive intent from him honestly really happy with standing by his performance today um three man center back um combination shemi ajayi calvin bassi william trust ekong i think calvin bassi was good today you know i think he was really solid in defense he made two tackles he made two clearances and i like the way he was passing the ball out of defense you know I, I quite like that how he was making that first pass to iwobi or to frank onyeka and just bringing the ball out of defense with composure and with confidence um calvin bassi although he got a yellow card i think he had a fairly good game you know he or i say a pretty really good game um he won four out of his six duels attempted you know um was fouled once he committed two fouls in the game one of them was yellow card um and of course he had a decent opportunity that he could have scored but all in all, a good performance. Shemi Ajayi had a shaky moment in the first half, you know, a little bit of a nervy moment whereby he potentially could have cost us. But thank God, William Christekong was there covering for him and recovered well. Um, Shemi Ajayi didn't make any tackles in the game, um, made one interception, made two clearances, completed most of his passes. Um, but there was one moment, I think it was in the second half, where you could just see his composure when he won the ball back um, um, from a... And from an angolan counter attack it doesn't count as a tackle because technically he didn't like stick a foot in but the way he showed his composure and his class to just put his body between man and the ball and calmly win possession back for the super eagles and just bring it forward i think it was very very good that's one thing about shemi ajayi he's a very composed you know soft life type of center back but he gets the job done and i'll give him kudos for his performance today and then the final center back skipolala william trust ekong amazing performance by ekong again ekong has had every striker so far in this tournament in his back pocket if he checks now he will see gelsindala he will see mabululu all of them inside his back pocket like two or three of them william trust ekong has just been solid when his teammates need him to cover for them he covers excellently well he reads play so well when something goes wrong there was a moment where calvin bassi lukman they were getting into an argument with the angolans he leads well tells the players hey calm down we're ahead we don't need to get frustrated we don't need to you know cause unnecessary stress for ourselves 
Just keep playing your game, keep doing your job. Ekong has been fantastic throughout this tournament. Another solid performance today. And long may it continue all the way to the AFCON trophy. For the wing backs, we had Olaino on the right hand side. Olaino, I don't have to tell you guys about him at this point. Olaino is just class. You know, technical ability up there. You know, defensive ability up there. Attacking ability up there. Olaino continues to be a fantastic player. Created two goal scoring chances for us today. Completed most of his passes. You know, um, made four tackles, made two interceptions, one clearance, all round performance going forward, coming back in defense. All I know was top of his game today, as always. Also, won six duels. He doesn't look like the strongest guy on the field, but he always goes into contest and wins those contests. Fantastic game from um, all I know on the left hand side. Zedu Sanusi playing from the left wing back. Oh, mm. I'm not going to knock him. The team won, but Zedu, you know. Mm. Uh, it's you know it's all these wavy wavy types of performances from Zedu. Make a you know make a silly mistake and then he would have one good action that you are thanking God for. Then you make another silly mistake and then you have another good action. His decision making in the final third is not quite up there. You know he needs to improve on that. The chance at the end of the first half, he should have made a decision quickly enough. He should have crossed that ball into the box or done something with it. He had another chance to score when the ball was laid back to him on the edge of the box and the way he blasted that thing away i'm like oh my god what is going on you know unfortunately unfortunately for us it's not affecting the team fortunately for us it is not affecting the team i mean if it does better we might have scored one or two more goals but we're not losing games so it is not affecting us negatively so far his crosses in that game almost every time hits the first man hits the first man maybe that's why he didn't want to cross at the end of that first half who knows but all in all, I wouldn't say he played poorly, but he didn't have a good game today. You know, I wouldn't say he played poorly, but I wouldn't say he had a good game. Um, all in all, you know, thank God we won the game. He still made one tackle. He still made five clearances, you know, but improvements can be made on that side. I think Zedu can definitely improve. Calvin Bassi is having to cover for him a lot. You know, it's a team, it's a team effort, you know, it's a team job. The team is getting a job done, but we don't want there to ever be a moment whereby you know something happens in the semi-final or potentially in the final and then we're like ah zedu why are you there so he needs to just do a good job um probably the reason why he keeps on starting ahead of bruno is because of maybe one chemistry and maybe two because of the gas you know the gas tank that he has the turbo that he has um bruno might not be able to cover the field the way zedu does and that's why he keeps getting a nod but i think there's definitely room for improvement there in the midfield Frank Onyeka and Alex Iwobi, another good performance from the both of them. Frank Onyeka, from the last game, carried on his quality performances, living up to his name, the tank, and also this time contributing in attack, creating two goal scoring chances for us in the attack. Also won two tackles, made one clearance, won six draws, and I think he was combative in the midfield. There was a time that he made a fantastic slide tackle, you know, in the center of the park and i was just like yes frank yes frank he needs to keep on playing at this level you know people doubted him before the tournament started and i like the impact that he's showing i like the kind of performances that he's putting in alex he will be as well a lot of people have said oh what's he will be doing what's he will be doing uh, he's not creative enough today he will be showed his class some people still felt like he wasn't good enough but for me i think he will be was very very good today the pass to just connect the attack from the defense to the forward players amazing every time even when the pass doesn't connect you can still see the positive intention you know he's not doing tricks on the field you know he's not running past five people but he just kept on showing the positive intent to find the attackers and to advance our attack and then of course our first goal if obi hadn't played that pass to moses simon all this would not have happened somebody here is saying Obi was average i completely disagree with you I don't know what you were watching. I think it will be had a very, very good game today. And I'm giving him kudos. Completed five percent of his passes. Eight out of nine of his long balls were accurate. Fantastic passing range is played by Iwobi today. Won four of his five duels. Only lost the ball nine times throughout the 90 minutes of the game. You know, and also contributed his quota going back and helping the team in defense. Kudos to Alex Iwobi. Long may it continue. In the attack, Moses Simon. For all the criticism that we've given Moses Simon in the previous matches, today Moses Simon said, hold my palm wine. You know, he, he delivered today. 
fantastic efforts going back fantastic efforts coming forward you know his crosses today were actually quality crosses his crosses were connecting you know he had the cross that osime headed that went just over you know he had the assist for the goal today him and ademola lukman have found that chemistry swapping sides you know running down the flank and just creating opportunities i think moses simon puts in a good performance today his best performance of the afcon so far i think today and of course the most important game of the afcon so far so thank god for that congratulations to moses simon for the fantastic game in the previous matches his dribbles which we know i i keep part of his game you know he likes to dribble past players and try to create something in the previous matches he hasn't been successful with his dribbles in today's game he had three successful dribbles out of four attempts i think moses simon had a good game like i said earlier created two goal scoring chances i think this was his best performance of the afcon so far and thank god it came in an important match like this we also have ademola lukman who scored the goal, the winning goal for us. Ademola Lukman has become only the fourth Nigerian player to score three goals or more in the knockout stages of the AFCON. So he's already writing his name in the upper echelon of Nigerian AFCON performances and AFCON players. Fantastic. The rest of the players on that, on that list are Odioni Gallo, JJ Okocha, and Rashidi Yekini. So if, if your name is on a list with those kinds of players, then you know that you are putting in quality, quality performances. If we go on to win this tournament, I know I'm getting ahead of myself now. If we go on to win, I think Ademola Lukman has a fantastic shout to be the player of the tournament. He's been amazing for us so far. Even in the games that he didn't score, you can just see the work rates that he's putting in, both in attack and coming back to help the defense. Even when he commits fouls, there are fouls that you are still happy about because he's putting, he is just putting in that effort. Another fantastic game by Ademola Lukman, and what a finish it was. What a finish. Fantastic pass to him by Moses Simon. On his left foot, which is not a stronger foot, he just played it slightly away from the goalkeeper into the roof of the net. Fantastic finish by Ademola Lukman. And I mean, player of the match for me, I think, Ademola Lukman. And, you know, hopefully he continues performing like this to the semi-final and all the way to the AFCON 2023 trophy. And then up front, our number nine, Victor Osime. Another tireless, tireless performance by Victor Osime. Osime gives everything. He eventually went off in the 89th minute, you know, with a knock, but I don't think it was anything too serious. Hopefully, it's nothing serious. He rests tomorrow and is back, you know, for the next game. Um, but um, Osime, again, again today, the only thing that was slightly missing from his game was a goal. You know, unfortunately, he had one disallowed. A fantastic header that the goalkeeper couldn't couldn't control um but still you have to give credit to osime for the kind of work that he puts in putting pressure on the defenders in every given moment they can never for one second get comfortable because you know osime is right there and then of course his headers today like i said were very close he had one that went just over he had the one that went in but was disallowed for an offside you know just slight 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 offside osime's moment is coming I don't know if it's going to be in the semis. I don't know if it's going to be in the final. But I know that Osime's moment is coming. All the work that he's putting in right now will not be for him to not get a crowning moment. And I know that Osime will eventually score an important goal for us. He won six duels to the out of 11 contested. You know, he also made two clearances even as a forward. I think Osime had another good performance. Again, like I said, for me, my man of the match. Okay, let me just talk about the subs quickly. Alassane Yusuf came on for the last 10 minutes of the game for Alex Wobi. Um, in that time, he played one fantastic pass which could have led to a goal for us you know alassane yusuf is that kind of guy that we saw him in the first game runs up and down and in the first game his attacking side was a little bit lacking other than the chances that he was playing from the right hand side but today he showed a quality pass and unfortunately he didn't lead to a goal but a sign of the potential and the ability that he has he played only 10 minutes had only seven of um seven touches of the ball you know completed one dribble that he attempted but still i'll give him kudos for the cameo that he made um joe aribo he came on for the last 11 minutes of the game. I think Aribo had a decent start, you know, was pressing well, was putting pressure on the midfielders, on the defenders of the Angolan side. But then in that last moment, when he could have played a quality pass to Ola, you know, you know, just to help us to potentially get a second goal, he made a bad choice. He made a bad pass. He was maybe a little bit slow in his turn and in his reaction. Um, so I'll say Aribo, okay, not bad, not great, but still, you know, Kudos to him. And then Omeruan on Onwachu, they came on only for about the last 
two, three minutes of the game. Not too much to talk about. You know, Onwachu's job is to hold up possession, to just, you know, ease pressure on our players and just kind of waste time. You know, his job is not really to score so far in this tournament. So I can't talk too much about it. And then Kenneth Omero, you know, played one minute. In that time, he was able to have two touches, made one clearance, you know, and committed one foul. Omero, we always know what he's going to give. No nonsense center back. Ball comes to me, ball goes back out. He doesn't try to be fancy, he doesn't do too much. Um, another fantastic win for the Super Eagles. My player of the match, I think it's like the fourth time I'm saying it, I'll give it to Ademola Lickman today. I think impressive work rate from him, impressive goal from him, and just an all-round quality performance. So there we have it. The Super Eagles are through to the semi-final of the AFCON 2023 taking place in Ivory Coast. And of course, we are waiting for the winner of Cape Verde versus South Africa tomorrow to know exactly who we are going to face in the semi-final. Yeah, let me catch my breath for a moment. Um, I see a lot of comments, a lot of you talking. Um, somebody said Moses Simon was his man of the match. Another person said Moses Simon, man of the match. Somebody said Stanley Umwabali was his man of the match. You know, so if if we're all having different players of the match, then it just shows you, I think, the quality of the performance that the, that the team puts in today. Um, okay, so let me bring some people on to share their thoughts guys let's just try to keep it quick you know three minutes thereabouts just let us know what you thought of the game who your player of the match was and you know of course celebrate this victory i'm sending requests now so that if you have anything to say hey good evening how are you Good evening. Thank you very much. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good, good, good. Good analysis from you. We have nothing else to add, guy. We have nothing else to add. It's a good, uh, good game. Good evening, everybody. Yeah. So, what? How do you feel now? You know, how excited are you? Uh, what did you think of the game? I mean, like you said, a uh, good result. Uh, when the semi-final, that's the most important thing. Result is the most important thing. Um, it was a professional performance, team performance today. You understand good defensively everybody put their played, uh, put in a shift uh, defensively or seamen there was a particular moment when you could see simon tracking the defender back to win the ball after they had lost it you understand so today my only the the day of the dada boys today it will be simon and um and the look man the dada boys won it for us today yeah but for me simon uh my, my manager match is simon today very clean i'll say that boy yeah simon yeah good performance very good game today yeah. amazing shout out to Ako Adams, I see you. Ako, send requests. Let me bring you on to hear your thoughts as well. Um, so, Bomo, before I let you go, I'll just ask you, now that we're through to the semi-final, we know that we surely have two matches left. We're either playing semi-final and final, or we're playing semi-final and third-place match. You know, where do you think these boys will finish now? I don't like to with Nigeria, with Nigeria, I don't like to. I take each game as it comes with Nigeria because remember 1998, was it 98 where we played? We only got play Brazil quarterfinal. Denmark did us something. So since that day, I just, I just hope for the best in the next game. But I think with the teams left, yeah, I think with the teams left, we stand a good chance of going to the final. Yeah, and with the way we play a professional football, you know, very organized team, we stand a good chance. I hope we, we play the Amapiano Derby with uh, South Africa and beat them once and for all in the Amapiano. Amapiano. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, Bobo. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. See, Aquara said he's going to do that next week. Yeah. So that Team Zef can play like that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much. Please take yourself out from that end so that no problem, like, we'll bring somebody else in. Okay, over to you, Pristo Femi. I think he's asleep. How do you, you send requests and then sleep off? Your <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it was it was a great match, man. Um, yeah, man. Shout out to the Dada boys, man. I'm representing for them. Um, I think I think I think these guys really want this. I think the winner gets seven million. So these guys are really playing for this money. So it's it's really nice to see, man. No, we don't go collect the money. Oh, oh, oh. Nah, 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 NFL. Oh, I thought they would. <laughs> I thought they would split it among themselves. That's not no, how it works. The players would have their whatever is allocated. They've agreed with the NFF before, but the prize money goes to the oh, federation. Nice. Yes, I didn't know that. Okay, nice. But still, nonetheless, they 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 are playing well. So, who impressed you today? You know, 
what did you think? Uh, the, the two two play. I mean, for the most part, everybody impressed me today. But the two main players for me was Moses Simon. I've been a very big, I critique him very hard because over the past few games. But today, that pass when he, when he had that chance, I was like, man, what is he gonna do? But he he played well today. Um, another player that I would say is Onyeka, man. I feel like he's not getting a lot of a lot of credit, man. In that middle, mm. he's, he's 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 making sure no balls are coming through, and he's 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 doing his part. So those two players, I would say, are my my top two players for today. Mm. All right, and then I'll ask you the same question as I asked Bobo that he did not want to answer. Now we surely have two matches left: semi-final and then either the final or the third place match. Where do you think these boys will finish? Finals. If they if they if they if they continue playing like the way they're playing, I think those guys want to win it all. I think uh, o Oshiman wants to show the world that he's he's the player he is, and I think he's even if he's not scoring, he's doing everything, motivating the players. I think he that's like a checklist for him to be considered an African legend. I think it's one of those things you have to win, and I think I think those guys really want it for him. I think I, I personally I'm saying finals. Mm. So they will get to the final of the, or they will win the trophy. Win, win, no, no, win it all, win it all, win it all, all right. win it all. Win it all. Win it all. all right, thank you very much. Uh, all right, brother. Myself. Thank you, man. Nice joining you. Take yourself man. off so I can yeah, bring another sure. person. Nice joining. Um, okay, over right to you, Nemi Lion. What's up, bro? Yes, I, I don't think I've seen you in my life before. Bro, it's I... my first time, but I've been full. I've been trying to get off for so long. I was live streaming the game. I have everything set up. Oh wow, nice. I was yeah, but I've been trying to get off for so long. But yeah, it's my first time for sure. Yeah, where are you? Where I'm... are you joining from? In Los I, Angeles. Yeah, hey, okay, I'm living that good life. Okay, so yeah, um, uh, we did hustle. <laughs> All of us did hustle for wherever we did. What do you think of today's game? Well, I was I was very impressed, but I will say we considered. Two, two good opportunities that I've not seen us concede throughout this AFCON. It's very scary. I know that Angola had a very good attack coming into this game, but it's like we opened up us, they opened us up too easily on those two occasions. The one that hit the post, and there's another occasion, I can't remember what it was, but I remember two times I was screaming and jumping in fear. And that, that was a little scary, but we've been, we've been solid for the most part of this tournament. So I was not happy with that, but I thought we did our job. All I care about in this tournament is to win. This manager is giving me Morio vibes. Honestly. And I'm not a fan of Morio. The way he's focusing too much on defense. And then we don't press. Everybody just sitting and waiting. And then the opportunity, bam. He has so much faith in Lukman, Simon, and Osimen to just do the business up top. I get it. I don't like it. But he doesn't have enough time to do anything else. So I'm okay. Just win it for me. And then we can fire you. And then we move to the next. Right. That's my one. So, oh, and yeah, the second chance that you were trying to um, recall was the first shot, the one in like the third yes. or fourth minute. Yes. That Uwa yes, that Mobulu, yes. the goalkeeper yes. made a good thing. To be fair, you know, if that was our player, we'll probably be criticizing him that why is he not scoring that yes. chance? You know, but it was still a fantastic save by um, Uwa Bali. Uwa Bali. And then the second, the second chance, you know, yes, they hit the post, they easily could have scored it, but at the same time, it was as a result of an error in midfield. You know, European and Frank Onyeka, they were just not quite solid yeah. in possession, mm -hmm. you know, and then the ball just found its way to, um, I forget the name of the Angolan guy, and then yeah. one-on-one. -on -one. You know, thank yeah. God, you know, God was on our side today. He hit the post. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, other than that, you know, the coach has, has set these boys up yeah. pretty well. But can I yeah, tell you something about that opportunity? Yeah. Did you see Nwabali after that opportunity? Screaming at Did you see him? Did you listen? The difference is clear, and I'll tell you why. Uzo's confidence is on the floor, and he's made so many errors that whenever any player makes a mistake, his own is to say, Oh, I understand. Hugs, kisses. <laughs> I don't want that. We're not here for hugs and kisses. Don't give me that. Shout at me so I don't make the mistake. Mm. That is what you're supposed to be doing. That's see, just you know, he's a big, stocky guy to so run out and charge at all of them. He won't be. He was shouting at he be specifically. He didn't care. Oh, you play for Arsenal. You care for Fulham. I don't care. I might play in South Africa, but this is what I'm playing for. See what I'm saying? This is what we need. We had that in Enyama. I would say that he has not been tested too much, right? He's not too much. He's. We can see his confidence is good on the ball, and he's good in the air, and he can hold the ball well, right? And I see it, and I appreciate it. But we have a man that understands what it means to wear this. I'm begging for this. Not that guy that makes too many mistakes and wants cuddles. It's not, it's not right. Don't do that with my team. I beg. Uh -uh. But I'm, 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 very, I'm very happy today. I thought I thought Zaidi was a little rushed. There were two opportunities that you feel like, but he's a defender. I'm, doing, I'm being that guy who is very judgmental towards his players. 
but I, I'm okay with it. You know, online also, I thought he had better games the other games. Today, he was a little, he was doing too much sometimes. Well, he was still solid. I love him. I think he's our player of the tournament so far. That's well, bad look, man. Bad look, man. But let's not sleep on Semi, Bassi, and Trusto. Telling you people, those, those three players, there's something that they are doing. They believe. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have faith coming into this tournament. But I'm having faith now because I can see <laughs> I can see that these boys are believing. Mm. I, I really can see it. So let's push. That's my mm. prayer. And this manager that I don't like. <laughs> Just win it for me. And then we can we can talk. That's my own. I All don't right. know how far we can go playing this type of football, but we thank God for where we are. So so I, I guess that's the question I was going to ask you. Mm -hmm. Where do you think we'll finish now? First, second, third, or fourth? Where will we finish? If we don't win it now and say disgrace. It has gotten to that point. I'm telling mm. you, because the only people that we say that historically are a big team in, in terms of African tournaments is Ivory Coast at yeah. this point. And we've already beaten them in the group stage. I understand the different scenarios. I watched their last game. They played like people that actually want to play for their badge and mm. realize that they're at home. They played with effort and desire and they knew what they were doing. But then again, they're not Nigeria. We handled them properly. They didn't really create more opportunities. But seeing as we've beaten them before, what is our excuse if they beat us now? Imagine we do all this work, we want to meet them in the final, and then we don't win. Come on now. It's not it's unacceptable. You have to win. You just have to just win it. I, I, I'm not even being hyper optimistic. If you, if you look at it on paper, we are the team that everybody is now talking about because Mali is gone. I say Mali. Um, Senegal. Senegal is gone. Morocco is gone. Who, who else would you be hearing their names? You know, Bleacher Report, all of them are already posting us because it's who we are. And the problem now is that that pressure is there. But it's, 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 we have an opportunity here. We have an opportunity to remind everybody who we are. Yeah, it's, it's important. It's important that these boys understand. You don't get ahead of yourself. The pressure will come. You can't help it. You play for the Super League. You always come. But you have an opportunity that you must take. You have to take it. This is what the manager. The manager shouts too much. I don't like that. I don't want the players to get it behind, get angry with him because I think he's shouting at the players a little too much. But then I think he might be telling them, this, if he's smart, he'll be telling them, listen, during the games, I have to be who I am. If it's your style, I get it. There's some, man there, there, there's some managers that will always shout whether they like it or not. But he needs to be reminding them that I swear to God, I'm just passionate. Mm -hmm. I just want to win. That's all it is. All right. And we'll call, uh, no, we'll call right. thank you. But thank you thank for giving me the platform. I appreciate you all. God bless thank you. And let's do this, guys. Let's do I'll be back. When you see my name, I'll be every time. Yeah. Please take All yourself right, off from your end. Thank you. Thank you. Take um, it easy. The only thing that I would say, the only thing that I would say in response to um, his contribution, me personally, I like manager with a shout to. I want to see my manager shouting mm. on the sideline. Yeah. You know, not something like, oh, we're struggling in the game. Manager will just be there folding his arm like... Hey, guy, can you tell them something? Can you, if somebody <laughs> makes a mistake, yell at them. And I think any professional footballer would understand that it's not that the manager doesn't like you, it's not that the manager doesn't or uh, hates you, anything like that. But he needs you to play in the game that he has coached you to play. So that's the only thing. Me, I want manager to shout. But yeah, yeah. Um, over to you, um, Victor Speck. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Omar, I gotta say, coming into the tournament, I didn't have, I didn't have too much faith, right? But when I started to see, once we started to see Wabali and what he has done, that guy, that guy has eased my mind so much, so much. Like how he comes up, how he comes up on on uh, on, on on set pieces, how he's moving, even when he needs to move under pressure, and he just he's just so calm. You know, that's what I like. You know, I think I think we have really gone the gone the race right now of basically like replacing Enyama. Of course, just like uh, um, the guy before stated, he said he said that he hasn't been tested that much in shots, but I think he has been tested. There has there has been a lot of saves that he's made that has gone under the radar, right? And uh, and that is something that is just so wonderful to see. Another point I want to make is Victor Osimi, man, Osimi. Even though even though OC hasn't scored, OC has adapted his game so much into the into the way that is making Lukman the shiner, right? But that's because of the work rate that he has, how much work that he has put in, and how he's able to read the game. Like even today, even today's goal, I I, I absolutely also praise Osi for that goal. 
Yes, his run, his run dragged the defender so yeah. wide that it let Lookman drop into that space in order to take the finish. Yeah. That was so cleanly done. Like, and that's what you call IQ. Another thing too, people were complaining. You know, when when they had the 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 two on one, and then where where he they wanted him to run, they wanted him to speed up and run, but he didn't. Right, he slowed his run down a little bit. But it's just that quality once he got the ball, what he was able to do. Turn in, turn in, try to take the shot, then they blocked it. That's fine. But what he was able to do in that in that whole process, it's just it's it's phenomenal, man. I thought um Ola Ena, you know, he's he's a bit like a days ago sometimes, but you know he has the quality, of course, because he played for Nottingham Forest. He comes up, he comes up big when you need him to come up big. But then there was still some times where under under the pressure you felt like, okay, yeah, wake up, man, wake up. We get it, you're like a days ago, but wake up a bit. Zaidu, um, another one to another talking point. He's he's good sometimes, but then when it comes to uh, set pieces, he was he was he was phenomenal at set pieces. I would give him that. But when it came to when it came to like. Uh, Sometimes just getting that ball off the feet a little bit earlier, he kind of was a bit slow with that. And he kind of put us a little bit in some pressure positions. And big, big shout out to our two, our two, our two, two center backs, Troost and Ajayi. Those guys, those guys, they held, they held it solid. And Calvin as well, you can also see that quality there. Um, Mr. Simon, for sure, uh, man of the match in this game. He was trying to do a lot of things, you know. He made it even like he almost pulled the the Manchester United goal for Kobe Mano uh, uh, last yesterday when he when he cut him through the yeah. space, came out and he almost did that. That would that would have been that would have been the goal of the tournament if he finished. Man. So yeah, thank you for your thoughts. Final question that I have that I've been asking everybody: one, yes. two, three, four. What position do you think the Super Eagles will finish in this tournament now? Yeah. So just like the first guy said, you know, I don't I, I like to take it game oh, by game. Please, you just... should give to Victor Wars, I like to take it. <laughs> you're not the one I that like, is, you're not I the like, one that explained the match. I know I like, I like to take it game by game, but looking at it right now, the, our only threat is it's Cote d'Ivoire. If they if, if Cote d'Ivoire gets eliminated, Nigeria is for sure the favorites to win it. We should win it like at the way that we're at. And I would say Currently, Nigeria are the the they're the ones to lose it right now. You know, they are they are the ones who who have have so uh, like the sole possession of it and can lose it. So we just need to be very focused. Um, I think we play either uh, Cape uh, Cabo Verde or, South or South Africa, right? And if if it's South Africa, that's gonna be a bloodbath. So we have to be ready for that game. Um, uh, coming up on Wednesday there, but uh, I think I think Nigeria Nigeria has Nigeria has what it takes to win it. We should win it. If we don't, just like the guy said, it's a disgrace. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for coming. Um, please take yourself off. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Um. Okay. Over to you, Hugo Mark. Uh, since sorry, before you start talking, since you've been sitting here, I've been looking at your face like you resemble Father DMW. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> to be honest, no, I'm not. So I, I get, I get that a lot. They say um, I look like an outside guy, something like that. But mm. I'm not. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. What, what do you think of the game? <laughs> it was a very nice game. Uh, I will start from the back line. You know, they say um, our goalkeeper have been, haven't been tested for a lot, for a while, and I, I concur to that because I get picking the ball in the air is not being tested he's not like he has not been really tested something like that but i guess his his confidence is giving every other person confidence that yes even if he get tested as much as he wants he's going to put up something better and we are going to be able to this and game after game our defense line make us fall in love with them game after game game after game very great performance um semi is, is very lovely in the defense kelvin Bassi trust second and franco Eka, a very very great replacement for Wilfred in the league, and that was it's very nice. And I believe with Franco Yeka and Osima in the team, I believe we are winning this. With for us not losing them to injury, I believe we are going to win this. That's just it. And Ola, you know, superb player, very superb player. He's using his both feet, the left and the right, pulling out crosses, making clean tackles, and 
those are very very nice and potential things for a player like him. Hopefully, he's going to sell himself. He's selling himself already. Not going to. He's selling himself already. And I hope to see him at the top. So that is what I have to do. Uncle Ayoti, I greet you. It's been a while. I've always wanted to be on your life. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you right. very much for having me. Um, okay, so guys, um, this Instagram is doing a thing again where it doesn't allow me to see the request or bring anybody else on. I don't know what causes it. But from for our DMW, now we have Phil's Mr. Producer. Um, Felix, yeah. Um, what, did you, what did you think of the game? Ah, it was <laughs> it's a, a very interesting game, uh, a tensed game. I was I was virtually on the edge of my seat all through the game, just holding the grip of my clothes. Most especially when they missed, uh, when their number nine missed that chance that uh, it's the bar. You know, it was a good game. The players gave their all. Uh, it was just, I think. See, I, you know, I predicted from immediately we won Cameroon. I saw the way the team was set up. You know, right. the, I can't remember the last time I watched. The, it was a, it was as if I was watching a Premier League game, like a team set up in this shape. You know, the attack keep the same shape, the defense keep the same shape. That is what you need to actually win the competition. And I think Super Eagles are definitely winning this competition. I don't see anybody beating them. I don't see anybody actually challenging us. The players was fantastic. He will be today interpreted his role properly. The, what we wanted him to do, what the coach wanted him to do. He did it properly. He was spraying the pass. He, he could even the second goal we scored. As in the goal Ushima would have scored. I mean you could see the pass he did from the midfield. He was one that orchestrated that movement. So it was a good play from the boys. You know the only player I have issue with I'll keep saying is what does Zaidu brings to the team other than speed? I don't I'm trying to understand what Zaidu brings to the team. Yeah. You know, you know, I don't know the I don't know the issue with Bruno Yemachi. I don't know what is going on in the camp. I don't know anything, but I don't see what Zaidu is actually doing now that Bruno cannot do more because he, in terms of defense, his lack of structure, in terms of attacking, his end product is so poor. Zaidu cannot make a cross to save his life. Like, Zaidu, we are going to kill you. Make a cross. No, I'm very sure. <laughs> it's as bad as that. And uh, Ola, you know, as usual, very good. Even though it was overconfidence today. And it is not bad, you know. It's just that kind of player. Very good. Osime, I thought I told a friend yesterday, Osime does not, does not need to score in every game. Let him just score in the semi-final and final. Then he's the player of the tournament. No, <laughs> no. Believe me. Oshman needs to score just probably in the semi-final or final or both. Then he's already player of the tournament. He's virtually, he's virtually, I would say he's the best player we, as in, we have in the squad right now. As in, he's not the best we've seen, but he's the most dangerous player we have in the Super Eagle. You know, he's the one, he carries the whole attention. The, see, Oshima playing against you in this half one is almost like one oh. I won't lie to you, are you? Because your centre backs, you, you can see that centre back, that guy that, that did dread. I don't know his name. That they used to mark Oshima. You can see the kind of problems he had today. All kinds of problems. Whether on the hair, whether speed, Gaspar, yeah. You know, Oshima gave him all kinds of problems. And Moses Simon, I don't know. This guy is just at times. You want to wait to him. You just can't. Let's just leave Moses Simon. Moses Simon was so good today. You know, that dribbling made uh, within those two defenders so beautiful. I remember Chuko is making that dribble against Newcastle and putting the ball in the net. And Moses Simon, the way he was tracking back and offensively was so dangerous today than the previous games. His dribbling were like very productive. So the players did and Frank Oyeka, like Frank Oyeka is not making me miss Wilfred in Didi one percent. Oh. To be honest. You know, he did is a kind of player I would have loved to be in the team, but Frank Oyeka didn't allow us missing Didi at all. He's been so magnificent in the middle of the park, winning tackles, making interception, breaking up plays. So I think this team has everything to win. This team has everything to, everything to succeed. And Basi, I'm praying, uh, Arsenal, please, 
just give, after this season, give Basi one year. We need to sign Basi. Basi is <laughs> our replacement to Gabriel Magalis. That guy is, he has a great future ahead of him. Oh. A great future ahead of him. He's just so great. So great. So oh. great. And okay, two questions. Um, one, who was your player of the match today? Oh, player of the match. To be honest, the, I think it's Moses Simon. Oh, yeah. Let's be honest. Simon. I think he was, he, to me, he was he was the more dangerous attacker. Oh no, Shima did his thing definitely. Shima will always do his thing, oh. but I think Moses Simon. Yeah. And one, one, two, three, four. First, second, third, or fourth. Where first. do you think the super first. is? First. So we're going first. to we're going to be celebrating this first trophy soon. And I think, and I think, let me also say this: Ivory Coast are not going to escape through this stage. Oh. You think Ivory Coast will lose against Mali? Yeah. Okay. Let's I believe see. Mali is going to beat them. Let's see. Uh, um, and yes, you know, based on what people are predicting, February 11th, mark the dates. It will be my best live show ever if the Super Eagles can win. <laughs> <laughs> if the Super Eagles can win that title, it will be my best live show ever. And to be fair, even if they lose, God forbid, it will still be interesting because a lot of people will come here to cry. <laughs> but mm. hopefully we can secure the victory, you know, against whoever we face. We have to, first of all, beat Cape Verde or South Africa. But... The future looks bright, you know, we're showing a lot of potential. Um, thank you very much, Felix, for joining and yeah, for sharing bro. your thoughts. Um, so I'm unable to bring any other person on. Um, so what I'll do is I'll end this live and I'll come back um, immediately for another 15 minutes so that anybody that still wants to share their thoughts, you know, will be able to come on very quickly. So I'll end this now and come on for another 15 minutes. Um, just stay with me, guys. I'll be right back in a second.